In today's video, I'm going to show you on the new Nexus 7. Let me just show you guys. I'm going to show you a ROM install here. But let me just show you, make sure you see what I'm working with. It says model number Nexus 7. It's on Android uh, 4.3. And it is on build number JSS15Q. That's what I'm running on this device. I'm going to show you guys how to go into stock recovery and go ahead and flash a new uh, ROM and uh, we're gonna go ahead and get into that so first thing you're gonna do is boot into recovery if you don't have recovery or an unlock bootler or all of that, any of that stuff done root access any of that which are all prerequisites to do this um, watch my other videos on my YouTube playlist and it'll explain it and you'll be able to walk you through all those steps so those are all prerequisites but right now I'm just gonna go ahead and reboot into recovery and I'm gonna use Goo Manager right there which is a great application just easy to reboot right into recovery with okay so here we got team win recovery project now before I flash anything or do anything on my device I always check your battery level which it says right here in team win you can also use clockwork mod recovery to do this it really doesn't matter this is just my preferred recovery method um, utility whatever you want to call it so first thing I do is I go to backups and I would select everything I'd set a name da 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 it go you why not whatever and then I'd swipe across now I'm not gonna do a backup right now just because uh, I already have one I did earlier today so I'm not gonna worry about it um, so we're just gonna go into wipes first and you can go to advanced and you can pick a bunch of wipes or you can just do the standard wipe which is gonna wipe the things listed right here in the top and normally that is good enough for what we're doing so we're just gonna go ahead and slide it across and now you have a clean slate to uh, flash your ROM. Now that wiped factory reset, Delvic, and uh, Delvic cache and cache. So we're going to go to install. And I got to go to where I have my files at. I put them in the ROM folder or ROM folder I created. And you should see this AOKP Flow Kang. And that is the new ROM that I'm talking about and some Google applications. Google applications are the newest 4.3 Jelly Bean Google applications. I'm going to give you guys links to both these files. Just make sure you put them on your device before you start the process. So we're going to pick the one. Make sure it's listed. Add a second. Make sure it's listed. It says 2 of 10. And then slide across. So this is going to go ahead and go through the flash process. This is an AOKP ROM, but it's put together by Infamous uh, Team, which is a ROM development team. And this is their AOK, AOKP port. And there we go. Wow, that was extremely fast. Really wasn't much to it to flash. Let's go ahead and hit Reboot System. Let's see what we got here for our boot animation. I'm really excited to see if he's got anything different or if it's just stock Nexus. So it is just stock Nexus, um, which is okay, but it's always fun to see if there's something new on there. Um, so let's go ahead and see if this AOKP ROM boots up, and I'll go through some setup and we'll show it to you. All right, guys, so we've uh, fully booted up here the ROM. And let's go ahead and go through it. Now, I did in the install, install just the normal Google applications, but I found that this AOP, uh, AOKP ROM Kang had its own Google applications, so I took those and reflashed them on top of it uh, and got those in here so we can actually get some more of the fun applications that are out there. So this is stuff that came included with their version of the Google applications. Attaway, F-Droid, ES File Explorer, my favorite file explorer right there. Infamous Tools, which we'll go through that a little bit. Root, root Browser, Terminal, and Titan Backups along with the, obviously the normal Google applications. So let's go ahead and just go through these really fast. Um, this is one of the things that's pretty neat. You got Power User right here and you have all these features that you can do through this application. Um, you have Downloads, and different stuff for the work that he's, this guy has done, Infamous. Um, tools. You know, you can go to Backup Tools and click on these. And it's just kind of shortcuts to a lot of applications, more or less, in there. 
Um, so that's that application. These are all of your launchers that come with this one. I'm using Nova right now. Um, what else can I show you guys? You guys have seen this stuff. That's nothing really new. Let's go ahead and check out our settings. We have these toggles right here. And we have your notifications. So if we go into settings, one of the cool things you have right here is AOKP Dark, and I like that look a lot better. So we're going to go ahead and change it to that uh, that look right there, which is very, very cool. Just going to show you really quick what we're running here. Like I said, Android 4.3, AOKP, and then you do a super user built into the settings. That's kind of been true on CM and AOKP ROMs for a little while now. It does come with a theme chooser, and you can get your Google Play. Uh, themes and install them right through there. So right here is your real um, beautiful like awesomeness of this ROM is this quick links and mainly this ROM control. So that's what makes custom ROMs amazing is all the options you have here in ROM controls. I'm going to go over just a couple of them but there's just so much in here it's not even capable of going over all of it. Like we'll do clock and clocks in your top corner I like to do center clock so you got clock in the center. You also have colors. I don't know, let's say you like green. There, boom. Now you got a green clock in the center on top. Uh, let's see what else we got. Let's do like the nav buttons. So these buttons down here will also make them green. I don't know if the green's gonna match. And there you go. So you guys can see uh, the features in here are just awesome in the ROM controls because you could totally customize your ROM how you like it, how you want it. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Here's your toggles, toggle setup, and you got some things you can change there, and some other features, plenty of other goodies in here as well. You have a power menu, turn on screenshots, turn off airplane mode, and power menu is this menu right here, and what's going to pop up right there. Um, let's also go to battery really quick. And I like to change the battery to this one. And we'll also do the color. That's the battery bar. If you guys have seen that, don't show status bar. That's the bar across the top. And we can change the battery bar color to something else we might like. There's a green. And you got that. So you guys can see that this is just super customizable. We're going to do always and Nova and very very fun to use so you go guys that is my review of AOKP ROM for the new Nexus 7 2013 model as always check me out right up here on top at rootjunkie.com you guys can follow me on Facebook or Twitter on the other side Root Junkie out